Let's take a closer look at three different MIDI devices. A synthesizer, drum machine, and sequencer, and separate each into its individual onboard components. A synthesizer is a complete MIDI system in a box. On it, you'll find a variety of controllers. In this case, a keyboard, some wheels, and input jacks for foot controllers and foot switches. In addition, it contains a tone generator, which actually creates the synthesized sounds. The onboard memory stores the settings for all of the available functions and parameters. There are also provisions for external memory, including a slot for RAM and ROM cartridges, and a floppy disk drive. Some synthesizers also have onboard sequencers. In addition, MIDI jacks on the back panel allow for the synthesizer to operate within a larger and more powerful MIDI system. Pause the tape and see which features are available on your synthesizer. A drum machine contains similar components. The controller section of the drum machine includes pads on the front panel as well as inputs for incoming data from other pads. In this case, its internal tone generator contains sampled sounds. Sampled sounds are snapshots of, in this case, actual drum and percussion sounds. We can create rhythmic patterns and songs by using its internal sequencer. Its onboard memory stores voices, patterns, and songs. There are also provisions for external memory storage, including a cartridge slot and a cassette jack. Pause the tape and take a look at these functions on your own drum machine. This sequencer contains onboard memory, which is usually described in terms of so many thousand MIDI events. In addition, it provides a disk drive for storing different types of data. Now turn to the glossary section in your workbook. Here you'll find definitions for several terms that mean different things to different manufacturers. In an effort to clear up some of the confusion, the definitions here will at least help you to understand how they are used in this video. They may also help you to decide which features are important to you when thinking about a new piece of gear. First, look up polyphony. This refers to the number of notes that can be played at one time on an instrument. Some tone generators provide more polyphony than you can physically play at one time. In other words, more than 10 notes. This is useful, especially when a unit is being controlled by a sequencer and you want to play along with it. Or, if you want to sustain a chord and play over it, the additional polyphony means that the sustained notes will continue to sound. A voice, in most cases, refers to a specific sound that a synthesizer can produce. Voices are also called timbres or instruments. Most sound sources can play one voice at a time with perhaps 6 or 10 or 16 note polyphony. Other devices which are polytambral or multitambral can play several voices at one time. Each voice can have a different number of notes assigned to it up to the available polyphony. Let's say a particular tone generator is multitambral and has 8 note polyphony. You might assign two-note polyphony to a bass voice and six-note polyphony to a piano voice. Although the device is capable of playing up to eight different voices, you've already used up the polyphony between the bass and piano voices. Some units offer dynamic voice allocation. This means it will steal notes from voices that aren't currently playing and make them available for a voice that is being played. This is a very efficient use of polyphony in a multi-timbral tone generator. Take a minute to familiarize yourself with the MIDI tone generator you will be using. Determine each unit's polyphony, 
the number of voices it can play, and think about how you would use it in your system.